Big win Don Wilson here for Top MMA News. Here with really an MMA jack of all trades, I guess would be the best word for you here. Uh, manager, promoter, um, you know, not really fighter, but you train with fighters. What, are, what else I've you got going got four on? Fights. You got four fights yeah. under your belt? What's your record? Four, no. Four. Amateur, amateur, though. Oh, that's okay. It still counts. It still counts. Yeah, maybe, maybe. All right. Um, you know, let, let's start at the top. The, the big thing I want to talk about, and I know all you Canadian fans are, are not going to be happy to hear this, but you managed with two really of the biggest Canadian killers out there in <laughs> Bo Harris and Derek Crookshank. Let's start off with Bo, really. You know, He's run, run through every single Canadian you put him up against. He seemed to bring him over just for the fun of it, it appears. Um, you know, next fight he's going to be going up against uh, Mitch Gagnon. You know, how do you think he's going to fare in that fight? A tough fight. Yeah. You know, yeah, very tough fight. When we got the call from ringside to take the fight against Mitch, it was something we really had to sit down and discuss it. I, I managed Bo with another group. Yeah. We do it on a, more of a team effort, people from uh, the States. So we sat down, talked about it. Mitch... Is a tough fight, but it's someone Bo can definitely beat. Yeah. We feel that the last fight he beat Adrian Woolley, Adrian, we put above Mitch. Yeah. We put above Mitch, and yeah, we think he's going to, I'm going with a knockout. I think he's going to knock Mitch out. That's a definitely a gutsy call, but definitely a possibility after the performance with Adrian Woolley. You know, next up, another Canadian killer, Darren Crookshank, and pretty much the, uh, the gentleman that coined the no clue, Don Wilson, and uh, seems to have stuck, appreciated. Um, we'll be taking on Mike Ricci now. I gotta say, Mike Ricci, huge rising star in Canada right now. Darren Crookshank, big win over uh, Brad Cardinal at the, at the really, the, the, not the last show, but the first show in Hamilton, Slamming the Hammer. What are your thoughts on that matchup? Again, just like Mitch, Ricci is tough. T comes from a very strong team, but so does Darren. All these guys that are training over in the Detroit area under James Lee's yep. MASH fight team, they train hard. Everybody's training hard. They're at the elite level. It's, it's who's on that night. They're putting their work in. We have no doubt that Ricci's doing the same, and Darren, Darren's good everywhere. Yeah. So we, in, in Hamilton last time, people seen a striking game. Well, he was a collegiate wrestler. He was been taking jujitsu since he was yeah. a kid. He's a karate champion, kickboxer. So, it, it's a good fight. Ringside is very lucky to have the fight for the fans, and no doubt whoever wins is going to come out that way. I'm calling Darren just like I did with yeah. Bo. I, I'm going to go with TKO as well. But later in the fight, though. Later in the fight. Now, now my big question is, you know, what's with bringing them over into Canada? Do you find the Canadian scene is is a more I don't know, diverse scene? Do you find there's more competition up here than what they'd be facing in, you know, Michigan and, and the northern states? Well, it just kind of worked out. I've always, I'm from Ontario, yeah. so the groups I've always been working with, with Alex Caparici and now Brendan at the score, it, I've just made a lot of connections with all the Ontario shows that now are legal and through Quebec, and the opportunities were there. The opportunities were there to get certain fights. It started off with Bo against Chucky Mady at MFC in May. And then Bo got to fight again in May against uh, Brent Francis, yep. really tough guy from MTC and Windsor. Franzus, I think we got the Frank name Zeus. right, Francis. It's all right, we, we always mess up the poor guy's name. <laughs> yeah, always. Brent's a tough guy, they'll fight anybody. Very tough. And then Darren got the Hamilton fight. Yep. Jeff gave him the opportunity. And once, it seems once they got their first fight in there, they, they seen, uh oh, these guys are really good. But they're. They're close, they're actually closer than a lot of Ontario states that come <laughs> yeah. over, you know what I mean? It's, they're right on the other side of Sarnia and Windsor area, right? So somewhere in close. between there, yeah. So London's closer than most of these guys driving to Quebec. So that's how they're getting their chances, to get their first fight. You know, and we have Eric Moon making his Ontario debut tonight. That's true against uh, Roy McDonald. You will see this, uh, this interview after the fight. So, you know, good luck to both competitors. We're going to lean towards Roy because we're Canadian site. We like to be homers. <laughs> hey. Again, we're lucky to have that fight tonight. Yeah, that, that, that right there can be fight of the night, and I hope those words ring true when this interview comes out. Now, we talked about local shows. You're going to be putting on a local show coming up soon. Yes. Meltdown in the Valley, if I'm correct, yep. in Sudbury. Can you give us Sarnia. a date? Sarnia. 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 See, I, can't, I mix everything up here. <laughs> can you give us like date location for that card? December 3rd, Sarnia at the RBC Centre. It's where our OHL arena, where yep. the Sarnia Sting play. We're an hour from London, Windsor, Detroit. It's it, it, We have a great market. We're a small city. Well, not... 80,000 people. I mean, small compared to Toronto and yeah. stuff. And a winter night on a Saturday night? It's going to be a good one. The whole city. I'm not, I love my city. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but there's, there's nothing to do except go out and party. And so we're, this is what You're going to throw the fights and then go out and party. I, I have a feeling the whole crowd will be partying <laughs> during the fights. We got John Fraser, our hometown hero. Yep. He's going to be our main eventing our show. So. 
Do we have any, any, any opponents lined up? Any, any full fights lined up yet? Nothing we can say because the Ontario Athletic Commission, we have a few names yeah. that we're, we're submitting and we'll find out in the next week and we'd love to announce it soon. Perfect. Now, obviously, fans, stay tuned to Top MMA News. You know for a fact we'll be the first to announce those matchups. Now, you know, before we let you go, is there any family, friends, sponsors you'd like to give a shout out to? Uh, Avant Garde Promotions is the, our company that we're putting on for Meltdown in the Valley. Supreme Striker Fightwear. Yeah. Uh, Razor Wear is really helping our guys out in Quebec. Appreciate it, Diana and Mark. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. My team, Supreme MMA. Sarnia, Ontario, making waves. They're making huge waves nowadays. <laughs> anyway, once again, fans, big win, Don no Wilson. No clue, Don Wilson. Woodrow James, Top MMA News. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.